Hi, Tasia. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm very well. So congratulations on Shorzy. I think it's so fascinating that you're always choosing such different roles, such different projects. You're always pushing yourself creatively. Um, but before I get too ahead of myself, tell everyone about Shorzy and a little about Nat, who just wants butts and seats. Totally. She just wants butts and seats, man. <laughs> so Shorzy is about a hockey player who goes to Sudbury to play in the Nosha, which is the North of Ontario senior hockey organization. And um, he, Shorzy, is famously from the Letterkenny universe, and he is the dirtiest hockey player out there in the league. So he is confronted with all of these hilarious obstacles. And Nat is the manager of the team who has to deal with him. And her and her, her two girlfriends, Meeg and Zeke, they, um, they try to keep the boys in line as they try to get a, a win out of the out of the league. Yeah. Yes. And had you known Jared Kiso or Jacob Tierney beforehand? You know, I think there was like some moments we might have brushed by each other, but we didn't really know each other. No, not too well previously. Yeah. Wow. And I read that you made your um, not made, but you watched Letter Kenny with your family once Shorzy got picked up. Is that true? <laughs> it, is. it is. My mom was dying laughing. She's a big Kids in the Hall fan. And so I was grew up, you know, we watched like really funny shows, like Absolutely Fabulous and a lot of good British comedy and Canadian comedy. And so I knew that she was going to love it. And it was a really nice time. I can't wait for her to see this. Yeah. So the comedy is so rapid fire on this show. Oh my goodness. But you're such a natural at it. Such a natural at deadpan comedy also, which is so hard to do. So what were some of your favorite moments to play this season? Oh my gosh. I mean, we're talking about it yesterday because Har uh, Harlan and I, uh, he plays Sanguinette Sanger. We went home and we watched or home back to the hotel and watched a few of the episodes again together. And we were reminiscing together as because um, I only had seen it by myself on my laptop. I was sitting, you know, in Los Angeles watching it when it came out um, a few days ago for the cast. And then I got to sit there with him yesterday. And there's, I mean, any scene that has Mark Michaels in it, who plays the goalie is hilarious. And I almost immediately start cracking up before the scene even starts. Like as soon as I see his face, I just, I'm like, this is going to be a good moment. <laughs> I just start cracking up. It's so funny. I love it. And I read that the guys all got matching tattoos together. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> I remember being like, oh, well, we'll circle back. On that one. <laughs> the girls. Or maybe the girls will get like their own version of it or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I imagine that the show gave you like not only a newfound appreciation for hockey, but also the GMs and the coaches. Totally. Absolutely. You know, it's not too far off in terms of I have a restaurant in Vancouver and in Toronto. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you're managing a group of people, a team of players, it's a similar kind of strategy. But definitely when you're dealing with a hockey team and it's just a league full of chirping men it certainly carries a different energy than uh you know a restaurant but um it, it yeah it is it is what it is yeah yeah but I also read it just it felt like a family on um on set that everyone just like you know you're you're shooting I can't say the word. You're, you know, you're 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 giving each other like insults on screen, but then off oh. screen, everyone's just like a family. Everyone's together. Everyone's in it. So, what was it like working with the cast? I mean, Jared does such a good job of creating this vibe and this energy on set to work with, um, and to make everyone feel welcome and included and inclusive. And he's he's really good at setting a tone, you know, to 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 live by and. That's what the letter Kenny guys do. Um, it exists in their world where, you know, everybody chirps at each other in this world as far as cast goes, but they're all a family and, you know, they all, there's a lot of heart in, built into the storylines and that's reflected among the cast as well. But we are so excited to see each other. We are all getting together tonight to have a party. A few of us are whoever can make it anyways. So we're all going to Montreal and I'm so excited to see everybody. It's going to be so fun. Oh, so what are you excited for the fans to see? 
I'm excited for them to see, you know, there's so many little niche jokes that are so layered. And even though I've read the script, I mean, even though I've read the script and I've worked on the characters and I was there shooting it and I've seen it before, last night rewatching it with Harlan, I saw again more jokes and more things, you know, to unfurl. It was just so layered. And so there's so much Canadiana weaved into it as well. And there's all these you know, references to, I don't know, Canadians and Quebecers and yes. little kind of to like introduce the world to our culture and to the culture of hockey. I think it's going to be really fun. Yeah. So you've played badass warriors. You played bosses. You started enslaved. As you mentioned, you were a partner yes. in a restaurant. I know a lot of people are really happy with how you talk about self-care so openly and so honestly. So what have you done in your career that you feel most proud of and what would you still like to do? Oh, wow. That's a big question, isn't it? Um, I think the journey into like self-care is a continual one and even being able to articulate and talk about it and share it still makes me really vulnerable and nervous and so I feel like whatever still makes you feel vulnerable and nervous is always a good place to look or go in that direction yeah. um, and then as far as my career I mean that's kind of personal and it intertwines with career but comedy I am fully obsessed with comedy now I just want to learn more and watch more and do more comedy for sure yeah and what have you been watching lately that you've been really into i well i just saw dave chappelle last week at the hollywood bowl which was an amazing uh stand-up uh show he did with john stewart and chris rock and it was incredible and i revisited i think it's called broad street to girls that live in New York. Yeah, so I just started watching that again. I'm circling back to, you know, go back to female comedians and, and see what they're up to. I love that. Well, I can't wait for everyone to see you on Shorzy. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you for the art you bring into the world. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day. Thank you for this. Thank you.